Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brain Shanae and today I have an unboxing for you and it's going to be from Fairy Loot. So if you want to know what's inside of this gorgeous box, please stay tuned. And I am back and also if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, so like I said before, I'll be doing unboxing for Fairy Loot. This is my monthly book box subscription that I get every single month. Um, now I know Fairy Loot is a little bit behind, so this is the March box. So let's go ahead and get started and see what's inside. So as I open the box, this is what it, uh, what it looks like on the inside. And we have our spoiler card press, uh, plus our little prints right here, um, which is sort of reminds me of like, I don't know, like Narnia. I don't really know. It just like looks really wintry and stuff like that. Um, so this is also the uh, spoiler card. And the theme for the March, for this March box is Frozen Fables. So what I'll be doing is I'll be pretty much referencing what's on the spoiler card for what's in the box. So that way you know who created these beautiful items. So the first thing I see is a box right here. And this is what it looks like. And it says, um, the Bear and the Nightingale, a ceramic mug designed by, um, it says Manola, Manola Mart. So that's what it says right here. I have not read The Bear and the Nightingale, um, but I everybody's read it and said it's, it's, it's amazing. So maybe that's one thing I should read in the future. Um, but let me see. For the ceramic mug, it says, the first item in this month's box is a box is a beautiful ceramic mug inspired by one of our favorite series, The Winter Night Trilogy by Catherine Arden. Um, this is featuring artwork by the incredibly talented uh, Mona Limart. It's perfect for holding hot beverages on a cold winter's evening. Take a peek inside to find a, a cute little snowflake at the bottom too. All right, which yes, it does have a snowflake at the bottom. So this is the ceramic mug and it looks gorgeous. Like, look at that. Like, I love that. And then it has the snowflake at the bottom, which is perfect. So I'm just saying, um, here in Ohio, the weather is crazy. Like earlier, it was like, I don't know, like in the 40s and 50s, and then all of a sudden it just got warm. <laughs> but I'm a person that likes to, um, I don't know, drink warm stuff, even if it's hot or whatever. So I will take this definitely. But yes, this mug is beautiful and I absolutely love it. So it makes me want to read the books even more. So we got that. And then it has the fairy loot emblem on the back, on the bottom, it says the bear and the nighty gale um, ceramic mug, microwave and dishwasher safe, which says on the bottom. So we have this beautiful mug, which I, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. So we got that. Next item I have, we see here, it looks like a little scrunchie that you could put on your head, which is really cool. I could just put that on like right now. So let me see if I can get it on. Yeah, so it has like a little knot on the bot on the top of it. So it looks exactly like that. It doesn't really look a little nice on my head because I just got my hair all, yeah. It's just not looking good. Um, but anyway, this is something for your hair and I do like the little uh, fake uh, fox knot at the top of it. Um, so when I do start, you know, when I get my hair done and stuff like that, this will be perfect. So we have this and let me see who created this. So for this, it says, use this he headband to keep any of your unruly hair back. It is inspired by the Something Dark and, Ho and Holy series by Emily A. Duncan and features a design by the fantastic uh, Katarina Book Designs. Yeah, so we have this. We have this headband. So we got this. Next thing I see is socks. Oh, my. Oh, and it is beautiful. It says, even the darkest stars. Um, it says ankle socks designed by Jess Hawk. So we have these and it's my favorite color. It's blue and black. So for the socks, it says, we at Fairy Loop believe that you can never have too many socks. These adorable socks will keep your feet nice and toasty and are inspired by Even the Darkest Stars by Heather Fa uh, Fawcett. Um, these feature a design by the ever incredible Jess Hawk. So yeah, we got some socks, which I can uh, wear around the house if I choose to. So we got this item as well. And the next item that I see here looks like a notebook. Ooh, and it's so pretty. It has a rose and everything on it. Oh my gosh. Like, and this is what it looks like. It's just blank pages. But that's cool. I can use this for a lot of things, a little ledger to keep things, um, pretty much organize my stuff and everything. So this works perfectly. And even on the back it says, a candle unused is nothing but wax and wick. 
I would rather light the flame knowing it will go out than sit forever in darkness. And that was, and that says S.J. Jones. So that's what it says on the back of this. So let me see who this is, what this is referencing. So for the foiled notebook, it says, this stunning notebook is inspired by Winter Song by S.J. Jones and was designed and illustrated by the lovely Tara, Taraja. Now you will have a beautiful foiled notebook to keep all of your precious notes in. All right, yeah, this is beautiful. I was wondering, this looked really familiar, but I couldn't remember what book it was or who the author was. So yes, I definitely will be using this. So we got this. Next thing is the little tarot cards that you get on e in each box. Uh, we have two of wands, which we have this, and then we have ace of wands. So these are two tarot cards that we have here. And let me see what these are referencing for the tarot cards. This month's collectible uh, tarot cards are the ace and the two of wands. They are designed by the very talented Ars 28 and are inspired by the Winter Night Trilogy by Catherine Arden. All right, so we got that. So here we go. Oh, so this is really neat. Now, let me see. I think we're down to the book now. So let's see. And also like this artwork, I think it says this, uh, the beautiful foil art print inspired by Spinning Silver by Naomi Novak uh, will be a perfect wintry addition to your art collection. It features artwork by Warwick Art. So this is also a little art print too. So I had to include that too. Didn't want to leave anything out. So let's see, we're down to the book. Oh no, actually we're not. I lied. We actually have this right here. It has a little package and a little fairy at the bottom. So let's see what is in this. Oh, wow. There it says uh, winter wood. Oh, it says phone ring holder. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm liking this. <laughs> I was not expecting that. So yeah, this is a phone ring holder and it's really pretty. And it says designed by iron and ink designs. And it says be your own light. Wow, this is really pretty. That is really stunning. Okay, so for this, so it says accessories, accessorize your phone with this handy phone ring holder. It is inspired by Winter Wood by Shea Earnshaw, Orange Earnshaw and features a stunning design by the amazing iron and iron and ink designs. So this is absolutely beautiful. I do like the um like the detail in it too. Now I might use it, I don't know. I really don't like I have a case where it has like little edges on it, so my grip is pretty firm. So I don't know, maybe one day I will use this, but I'm gonna keep it on my shelves for now. So maybe in future I will use that. So now we are at the book. I promise we're at the book now. So this is what it looks uh, comes in, this little package, and then on the back it says happy reading. So let's open it. All right, so we have the note by the author, which I will try to read to you. Uh, so I will try to read this to you. And then we also have the bookmark for the this month for March. Um, so and then we have the fairy scoop frozen fables where I'll go over with you after this book. So the book is The Bright and the Pale by Jessica uh, Robin, uh, Robinkowski, Robinkowski. And it has the sprayed edges. So I haven't heard anything about this book. It sounds, it looks really interesting. I really love this cover. Um, so let me take the dust jacket off. Oh, also it is signed by the author as well, just in case you did not know. So when you take the dust jacket, oh, look at that. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. But anyway, the dust jacket is uh, reversible. So this is what it looks like. So you can always reverse it if you choose to do so. So we have that looks really cute. I have not heard about this book. Now I'm wondering what this is about. Um, so let me go ahead and read the synopsis and see what it's about. So it says 17 year old Valeria is one of the only survivors of the freeze, a dark magical hold, uh, not mountain unleashed on her village. Everyone, including her family is trapped in an unbreakable sheet of ice. Ever since she's been on the run from the czar, who's determined to imprison anyone who managed to escape. Valeria f finds refuge with the Thieves Guild, doing odd jobs with her best friend, Alec, the only piece of home she has left. That is, until he is brutally murdered. A year later, she discovers Alec is alive and being held against his will. To buy his freedom, she must lead a group of cutthroats and thieves on a perilous expedition to the very mountain that claimed her family. Only, something sinister slumbers in the heart of Knot, and it has waited years for release. Inspired by Russian folklore, Jessica Robinkowski's epic fantasy debut is a thrilling page turner with romance, tragedy, magic, and monsters that will stay with you to the very end. 
Ooh, so I like romance. I like Russian folklore. So yeah, definitely gonna have to give this a try. So this is beautiful. But I just love the book. The book is beautiful itself. Like I love this color. It's just real, it's enticing. So we have this. And so let me see. And this says, um, this is from the author. So it says, for years I watched, um, watched as uh, as books were placed into the or into the box, never once daring to believe my book would one day be among them. My publishing journey has taken 12 years and I will always be forever grateful to each and every reader who picks up my book. I wrote this novel for, for girls like me who grew up angry at the world and even angrier they had to they had no way to change it. Oftentimes female rage is looked is looked down on, forced out of us because it isn't proper. I wrote a vow like this because our because our anger can be a force of change. We have power inside of us. All we must do is be brave enough to reach for it. I hope some of my readers will find their own strength and determination within these pages. I hope they find strength uh I hope, excuse me, so let me, it says, I hope they find strength that doesn't mean you can't always be under and co compassionate to those you love. So I think I read that right. <laughs> it, says, it just says, I hope they find strength, which doesn't mean you can't also be tender and compassionate to those you love. So that's what it says. And it says, be angry, be strong, fight. Uh, it says, fight hand, but love harder. Or it says, uh, fight hard, but love harder. <laughs> that's what it says so I was able to read it I find out it, I like reading these because it can be inspiring to me but it also can be inspired to you as well um so I definitely love this um I'm definitely going to be reading this I have to figure out how I'm going to read I have so many books so many books I need to read but this book is definitely one of them that I have to read this year um and then we have the fairy loot scoop or the fairy scoop um which it goes into like the interview the author interview um it tells you like what was in the book or in the book itself like you got the exclusive cover the shimmery sprayed edges signed by the author um custom end pages artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket and foiling embossing on the hardcover so we have and that's what we have for this and then the next month which is this month <laughs> april is hidden identities so it says we are so excited to reveal the april theme for our monthly box and it is hidden identities you might think you know who some who someone truly is but what if they are keeping a secret a secret that could change everything for the better or for the worse as phaedrus wisely said things are not always what they seem the first appearance deceives many in this box, you can expect items inspired by The Shadows Between Us, The Lord of the Rings, The City of Brass, Flame in the Mist, and a foiled bookmark set inspired by the following fandoms and Ember in the Ashes, The Poppy War, and Blood Air for now. We won't be revealing any item, item artists, but we will say that we are featuring an item in this box that we have never included before. Our featured book of the month is a dark fantasy filled with unforgettable characters, intrigue, magic, and a dash of swoon-worthy romance. Uh, we were hooked from page one and all the plot twists still have us reeling. Um, this fairly exclusive edition will have an exclusive cover, stencil and sprayed edges, artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket by Alice Ma uh, Maria Power, foil embossing on the case by Talia Nobel, and bonus content in the book and will be signed by the author. As always, if you still have an active subscription, you can sit back and relax as you will automatically get this box. And then it goes on to like their form like the Instagram photo challenges on the dates, like the unboxing. So yeah, we got that. So that is it, you guys. That is my little unboxing that I have for you, that I have for you all today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified when I upload more videos in the future. But thank you. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. And please stay healthy and stay safe. See ya.